Hello friends! Today we are going to be looking at drawing lines with a ruler. A ruler has a straight edge so that we can draw straight lines. We can also measure with it, but today we're not going to be measuring. We're going to be drawing some lines. If I have a dot here and a dot here and I want to draw a very straight line between them, I could try to do it without a ruler or something that was very straight, but it might be hard for me. And my line might end up looking really wiggly. A ruler or using a ruler allows us to make a very straight line. When we use a ruler, we put our ruler between the two dots and we draw from one dot to the next. And look at how straight my line is. My line is straight because I was using the ruler. Now I have to be careful when I'm using the ruler because if I'm not holding it tightly, I might, oh, look at that. So when I'm drawing my line, I need to make sure that I'm holding my ruler tightly. Sometimes I even spread my fingers out like that. So like, let's say I had a dot here and a dot here and I wanted to draw a line segment between those two dots. I would hold it tightly and start at one dot and go to the next dot. Now, we do this when we are doing dot to dot puzzles. Have you ever done one? Those are a lot of fun. The class, I have made a very simple dot to dot for us and it is an alphabet dot to dot. So we are going to start at the letter A and we are going to draw a line all the way to letter B because B comes next in the alphabet. I'm going to use my ruler to make very straight lines. I am going to make sure that I line my ruler up to the dots A and dot B and I'm going to draw a line segment between those two dots. This line segment would be called line A, B. So we've gone from A to B and now which letter should we go to next? D, E, or C? You're right. The alphabet goes A, B, C. So we're going to draw a line from B to C. Now I've lined my ruler up between the dots B and C. I'm going to hold my ruler tightly so that it doesn't move and I don't get a wiggly line. I'm going to stop right at the C dot. And now I've drawn a line segment. The line could be called B, C. What comes next? Would it be D or E? You're right. It's D. So I'm going to very carefully put my ruler and line them up between the, the dots and I am going to hold my ruler tightly so it doesn't move and wiggle. And I'm drawing from C to D. I made a line segment, line C, D. I'm going to line up my ruler, hold it tightly so that it doesn't move and draw my line. <laughs> what shape did I just draw? It is a star. I think I want to color my star. I'm going to color all of the triangles orange. Oh, do you hear my squeaky marker? My triangles have three sides. One, two, three. My triangles also have three angles. One, two, three. How many triangles does my shape have? Did you say five? You're right. Let's count the five triangles together. One, two, three, four, five. What would we call this shape that's in the middle of the triangle? I'm going to color it blue. It has one, two, three, four, five sides. When a shape has five sides, do you remember what it's called? You're right, it's called a pentagon. Can you practice drawing a star today and color the shapes that are inside of it? Today, I want you to practice drawing straight lines with a ruler.
And you can even try it not holding the ruler tightly. Like say you just hold, held it with one finger. Oh no, that's not a straight line. I want you to practice and see if you can make a real wiggly line like that. And then practice holding tightly so that you can draw a straight line. <gasps> Could you make a picture with just straight lines? Try it and see what kind of picture you could draw with straight lines. Today, I want you to practice. I want you to do a fun art project with just straight lines. Class, I hope that you have a wonderful time practicing drawing straight lines. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.